the concept of the secret place is one of the mysteries in scripture that is behind unusual manifestations of the life and the power of God upon a man. Welcome to a place absolutely conducive for the Holy Spirit. Experience intimacy, partnership, and fellowship. You want to maintain valuable relationships that translate to open doors as simple as this sounds you will be surprised how many people may not be able to make progress master kindness what is kindness the quality of being friendly generous and considerate that's what we call kindness the quality of being friendly generous and considerate and then master hospitality Hospitality is not about cooking food. Hospitality is built upon an intrinsic desire to see people happy and welcomed. Let me repeat it again. The last key, you want to maintain relationships with men, master kindness and hospitality. Please say kindness. kindness. Say hospitality. hospitality. One more time, say kindness. kindness. Say hospitality. Kindness. kindness is the quality of being friendly, the quality of being generous and the quality of being considerate and then to be hospitable means intrinsically you desire to people see people happy you desire to see people welcomed I give you a guarantee under God you cannot surround yourself with this kind of spiritual and psychological energy and have people run away from you it, it will not happen under normal circumstances many of us are not kind many of us are not hospitable are we together master kindness to your wife to your husband to your children to your superiors to your contemporaries to your subordinates master kindness apostle in our family we don't really give that's all right learn you can learn from today this night learn are we together master kindness say in the name of Jesus say it as a confession in the name of Jesus I declare that kindness begins to walk in my life say it again in the name of Jesus I declare that kindness begins to walk in my life to be kind means to be friendly People should not look at you and say good afternoon and you look at them, you size them from head to toe. Who is your father? Who is your mother? What are you wearing? What kind of designer? No, just go. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Be kind to people. Let me tell you something. I wish I had the time to tell you stories. In my life, some of the, the great helpers in my life have been some of the most unassuming people based on the physical persona if you were to select people you will not go close to those people yet they have profound and tremendous influence and by that that discernment and to be able to communicate honor it provided a leverage that myself and even this ministry is still benefiting from today don't look down on people because of financial status because of educational whatever you may have people that are that match your pedigree to deal with I understand that but make sure that you are kind to everybody God has granted you a car I know you are driving a car of hundred million naira don't hit the guy walking on the road just because you are moving because one day you will buy a car in his company are we together yes and let me tell you ladies and gentlemen when you are starting out in life live your life with honor and dignity provided you are walking the path of righteousness and integrity there should be no shame don't fake your life no one shirt that you have wear it with honor anybody that wants you to wear a designer cloth before they respect you does not deserve to be your friend they are leaving you is it was God ordained to give you peace because you already see that that pathway will lead to destruction it is selfishness personified are we together practice kindness I pray even for myself every time that beyond being an anointed man of God beyond being someone who God has trusted with revelation and leadership that at, at a nuclear level 
that that character of kindness uh, and hospitality will come from me not because I'm a preacher it is a beautiful way to live are we together now many of you are not kind you've not done anything to anybody there are clothes in your house today that are spoiling you have outgrown them you will never use them yet you will not give it the pain of giving out new clothes that's what is paining you you rather keep it there than to give it to someone no go back home after this meeting go and sort the clothes in your wardrobe apostle they are too expensive really for who now the people jesus died for I'm giving you an assignment and for those who are following our global family decongest your life from a lot of things start with your clothes go and give somebody take 10,000 naira and say look that woman that is always sitting at the side I'm always seeing her children jumping every time they see me they say good afternoon mommy those children have been calling you for mommy calling you mommy for one year you've never done anything that that justifies being called mommy do it after this service give them something and say look children how much is their school fees ten 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 thousand okay i can only do two take even if it's just one time giving is living there can never be kindness listen there can never be kindness without giving some of you valentine right now your spouse or your friend has bought all kinds of gifts and you don't plan to do anything all you plan to do is amen let me pray for you let me tell you if you are in this house nobody should buy you any gift or anything and then you give them prayer back you are selfish are we together People should not go out of their way to show you love and care and then you throw it away. It shouldn't be. Some of you have never blessed any man of God that God used to bless your life. You are not kind at all. You receive, you grow, you increase. I'm not asking you to give me money. You know that. But I'm saying it is a practice in your heart. Never be part of any ministry, any church, any man of God, any organization where you are consistently being blessed and lifted and you don't take it as a responsibility to contribute. If you cannot give money, give prayers. If you cannot give prayers, sow the seed of gratitude. Some of you may need to do this to your parents. Did you know that there are many wealthy people around who are millionaires and billionaires and sometimes you see their parents and their conditions back home, maybe in the village, and it's pathetic. Let people rejoice, but human beings. Say, I am a blessing. I'm not wasting your time. Say it. Say, I am a blessing. So whatever you need to correct tonight, if it's an attitude problem, correct it. You are sarcastic, you hate on people, you misbehave, correct it. Okay, Apostle, we are like that in our family, I understand. We don't judge you, but this is where the power of the word comes. Let me tell you, if you do not rise above culture, you may never prevail in certain dimensions. You have to exalt the word of God beyond some of these cultural things love the word of god and rise beyond the grip of culture and the limitations that they bring to your mind are we together now god cannot trust you with the destinies of men at a global scale when you are limited in understanding and surrounded with all kinds of prejudices and biases it doesn't work that way god gave you five children three are your biological children and two may not be your biological children Maybe I may not say, okay, treat everybody the same, but at least let the two be able to feel the love of genuine parents. Don't humiliate them simply because their parents are dead. No. I made up my mind that everybody under my watch by the grace of God will feel the love of a father without prejudice. Is someone learning? At the end of your life it's not how many things you have acquired that matters is who was able to know the Lord because of you who was able to smile and find hope can I tell you my dear sister you cannot become this kind of person and not have one person in your life who loves you enough to be around you my dear brother you cannot become this kind of person I have described 
and not have one person who believes in you enough willing to invest their lives I ask this question again as we finish up this second phase who in your life today man of God woman of God businessman my dear sister my dear brother who in your life today have you chosen to invest your time your resources your credibility as a sincere way of contributing into relationships the moment you find out that you are a parasite only receiving from people change because very soon you will find out that you are alone no human being survives an atmosphere with that level of pungency people want to know that you are an active contributor husband and wife children to their parents parents to their children men of God to members members to men of God businessmen CEOs to your your staff staff to to CEOs you know all kinds and all cadres make sure that you become active contributors and your relationship will become magnetic your personal will be so inviting even if people have nothing to tell you they want to be around you because you become the closest expression of Jesus Christ